Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Deborah, aka the Sunset Girl Creates, and today we're gonna finish Hometown Pride. Um, with that said, we only have the flag left. I have my colors laid out, and I'm gonna single place just so that it takes it doesn't like finish super quickly, and then we don't have um. I don't have any diamond painting to do. Um, when I'm done here, um, I looked on my phone and it seems like there was an issue uploading yesterday's video. So because it was an issue uplo up uploading yesterday's video, we um, will have this one uploaded as well. So you'll just have two videos that you'll be watching. Uh, you'll have available today to watch um, I don't know why it quit uploading last night yesterday but for some reason it didn't I didn't stick with it so it's probably my fault um, we'll just let it finish doing its processing today and um, we will uh, have two videos up today tomorrow I will be The video for tomorrow will be in a box up. Um, I'm going to kit up and do my Chuck Pinson American Pride. I think that's it. Anyways, I'm going to be doing that painting. And I will be pulling that out when I am done with this video to get it prepared to unbox. Um, so... I will get it unboxed and I will get it um, kitted up. I'll do the kitting up on video. I do have to empty out one kit first. So I will be emptying out from the Alice. I never unkitted Alice, so I'm going to unkit Alice. Um, I'll show you Alice when I do a, a, a tour of my office. She'll be part of the... Um, she'll be part of, she'll be part of the wall, the wallpaper that I'm doing. Um, she's already completed and she's back in her box. So when I do the wallpaper reveal, uh, you'll be able to see Alice then. We're going to have, there's going to be quite a few. Up there on the wall when I start I have several that are ready to go up I have my 49ers and my husband's Patriots and those might go actually I still probably will be framing those and they will go up on my living room wall with our other football memorabilia that we have on the wall we actually only have one football thing on the wall really um, and that that is uh, my picture of candlestick signed by Joe Montana. Um, that's probably one of my cherished things from football. I've been to many football games. I used to have season tickets to candlestick when candlestick was part of this earth. It is no longer. It has been destroyed. Candlestick was falling apart and they couldn't continue to play football there. So even though the public wasn't the happiest, they did pick up and move to San Jose and they now play out of Levi Stadium. So this picture, as time goes by, will become more rare because the candlestick does, doesn't actually exist. Uh, Joe Montana with all of his records once he passes on his signature will um become valuable as well it was a birthday present that i got it's probably one of my favorites the other present that i've gotten um to deal with football is my throwback jersey official throwback jersey of the nfl for joe montana um, and that sits in my closet and that will stay in my closet until, until it's time to move on, right? 
So it'll just stay, it, and, and actually I probably will end up framing it as well and putting it up on the wall. I just have to figure out how to get all this stuff to stick to my wall because we really don't want to have to put a bunch of nails in our wall because they are cinder block. It's not like putting um, a nail in your wall where you look for a stud and most people look for a stud because they have the sheetrock over inside well i don't have sheetrock i just have the original cinder block so i'm trying to there's a couple different things i can use that i believe will stick i have to wash the walls i think um i will need to wash down the wall before I start sticking, I'm going to run a test um, on that to see if that is a viable solution. If that's a viable solution, then I can start um, considering how I am going to display my wallpaper. I think I know which wall it is, but it is going to take my husband's buy-in and his help because... I will have to uh, move the Bud Light sign, but I'm thinking I might want to leave the Bud Light sign right in the middle and do everything around that, and then I can light up the Bud Light sign, and it will give a neon glow to all of my paintings on the wall. I think that might be cool. So that's about what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to figure all of this out. Um, as well as make sure I take care of any business that comes up um, regarding my disability. Uh, I know that I'm waiting for some paperwork to get here in the mail. It hasn't gotten here yet. I know that it'll take a few days uh, because yesterday was a holiday. And I spoke to them late last week. This week I have... Uh, to wait for that paperwork to get ha here, fill out the paperwork, and then I can put that back in the mail. Um, so I, I I think the way that we're going, it gives me a much better uh, possibility of approval on the first approval. I'm not going to say that I'm going to get first approval because that doesn't happen very often. Um, it is possible to be approved um, quickly and at the beginning. My husband and I are ready for a two-year battle if necessary. Uh, I filed in February. And so it's been a long trek already. A long trek. I'm going to do, I don't, I wasn't going to multi-place, but I just have to. This one just begs for me to multi-place it. Um, sorry, I can't, I, I, I'm so used to multi-placing and it was just begging to be done. It was a beautiful lay. Um, so I was able to, you know, where, where any income that I was able to get before is now going to be coming to an end at the end of this month and it is going to be cut in half of what I was getting before so um, I only have four weeks of unemployment left and that is what it is and there's no federal unemployment coming with these next two checks um, so it will be um, smaller checks so we are already preparing to do move around bills make sure they're on the right credit cards and that everything processes and that we don't let anything fall through the cracks I've done a lot to build my credit and my husband has done a lot to support me on that and we don't want to see my credit go away right because we've worked so hard so my husband and I are going to work together and um, make sure that both our credits stay, stay good and that we continue to enjoy life the way we have it now. 
um, we have made it so our life is pretty easy here and I'm really enjoying how things are going right now I it, it, it's like it's like one of those I can't wait for it to happen kind of moments and I really can't I can't wait for it to happen I can't wait for anything to happen right and I think I'm going to do one modification here um, and it just came to me it's not like I thought about this before because I really didn't and I didn't think but I'm going to take the stars and um, they are 3865 so I am going to get my 141 drills and use them actually I have 3865 here or should I use my frost I might actually use my frost. Um, it's the American flag, so I think I'm going to use my 3865 on it. I'm only doing it on the stars. That's the only AB that will be on here, this painting at all. I've not pulled any ABs out. I've not substituted anything but the American flag. And I will be doing this to all the stars on the American flag on the next one as well. Um... I don't need a whole lot. I have, this is my haul from Tima. Um, I'm still working off of that haul. So um, I don't have a whole lot of colors. I don't got big hauls like most people do. Um, I don't do a whole lot of buying right now of anything. I mean, we buy necessities right now and that's about it. Uh, we do have some fireworks that we did set off um, part of them. We still have a few left, but those were from um, last year's that we didn't get shot up, um, and we didn't get we didn't. Uh, I was sick on New Year's, so we didn't shoot off for New Year's. Um, we were going to shoot off last night. However, we got a huge rainstorm that came in, and um, I wasn't able to shoot them off um that's okay i'll get to it next week uh next year uh or even new year's you know because new year's is only six months away they've been sitting there it's not going to hurt them to continue to sit there if necessary okay so now we've got the stars done and so now we're going to finish up the rest of We're going to finish up the rest of the flag. Now, once we get the flag done, that's it. This painting's done. Um, I'll do a post review on it, and I will show you how I roll my paintings and what I do to secure and make sure everything's clean and I didn't miss anything. Um, I will go through that whole process with you. Um, I will roll it. I'm going I'm I'm working on a setup. Once I get the setup figured out for our uh unkitting and rekitting videos. And I'm not gonna do it for every single one. Um I think I would prefer it I would I'll do the kit up with you guys and we'll kinda do a whip and chat with it why why I'm kidding up. But when it comes to unkidding, I don't think I'm going to videotape those. I'd rather just do post reviews. Now, if, if for some reason you want to see a kit up, I mean a kit down, please let me know in the comments below if you've made it this far in the video. If you'd like to uh, have a fun day and watch us do our thing. We would love to have you as a part of um, our Sunset Girl Creates team. So welcome aboard. And um, I've been doing some outreach lately. I'm starting more and more outreach this week. So I'm watching. I've, I've, I've switched things around. So no longer using my personal profile to do any of my searching on YouTube. All of my... YouTube is set up to the Sunset Girl Create. 
Um, that way when I'm watching my videos or anything like that, um, I'll be commenting more on videos. Um, I just got off of Instagram. I have an Instagram account um, and I have a Facebook account. If you go to the About Me, there is a link to the Sunset Girl Facebook account. Um, if you want, I can add that link also to our links in the description. I can add that to all the videos. Um, let me think about it, and I might add that under my mail email because my email is in the description if you have any questions comments or concerns um, and you prefer to talk to me privately I would love to sit here from you um, you can email me my email address is in the information box below the description box um, and I have uh, got that all set up there's a it's fun Come join the Facebook account. Um, let's get this Facebook up and going. I think I'm uh, going to turn it um, into a private page here soon um, because I want to put some rules and stuff. So, but it's still not private at this point. So feel free to join in um, our fun. So with that said, I am going to go on and we're going to read our article for today it is from uh, Diamond Art Club it's a website it is their blog and it is di the best diamond art kits for animal lovers so like what we did the one in the spring I will show you the uh, different pictures if they're available uh, so you can actually see them as well so, finding a new hobby can be a rewarding experience because it provides you with a relaxing outlet to relieve stress and an opportunity to learn a new skill. Um, yeah, it's always fun to learn a new skill, isn't it? Um, I really enjoy it. In fact, research study research suggests that more often you learn new things the quicker you will be able to learn new learn skills in the future so if you're able to pick up a new skill pretty quickly so say you've got a new job and that job requires you to remember different processes and are you able to remember those processes is it something um, that's easy for you is it a skill that you've already had and you just need to refine it for the new job. Um, there's lots of things that will come up like that. And you need to make sure that you're healthy enough to be able to do that kind of stuff, right? Uh, because not all of us can get in there and do that. So I part of the reason I cannot work is I'm having a harder time and harder time as life goes on to um, remember things, uh, remember processes that I'm doing. So it, it, it's one of those things that as you learn, you can develop better skills and you can learn faster. But when you find you have memory lapse, that's not quite as easy. Um, those make you feel good kind of things don't stay around long. So, let's see what's next if you're looking for a fun new activity to stimulate your brain and create something beautiful along the way you should try your hand at one of these animal diamond paintings this unique type of mosaic art uses a predetermined pattern and a variety of colorful diamond like beads to make a larger picture that can be he be huge in your home or given hung in your home I think it's supposed to be hung. It says huge, but it's supposed to be hung, I think. Or given as a gift. Check out our selection of the be of the best diamond, diamond art kits on the market. So, I think that the first sentence, paragraph was really just um, one of those things that we need to pay attention to in life, right? Um, what what's up next what's going to happen next you know and that that's where the world goes 
You have to think, what's next? What's next? We're always thinking a step ahead. And we're never concentrating on what we're doing right now. So if you're talking and you're watching, let's just concentrate on what we're doing right now. Right? I'm reading the article and I'm finishing my flag. That's what I'm doing right now. So are you doing anything fun and quiet like that? Do you have anything at home? Do you have a diamond paint painting that you can work on? I know that when I listen to Living Chats, I always have my, my diamond painting out or a box, an unboxing or reboxing or whatever. I have started a new TV show that I like. It's called Sister Wives. It's pretty good. Um, I have been learning a lot about how different people live. Um, I believe that if anybody wants to go on and live their life, they should be able to live that life, right? They should have that opportunity like everybody else to live their lives. Um, so I think it's an awesome thing and we just need to concentrate and stay in the current present time, right? What are you currently working on? What is going on in the present right now? So think about that as we go through here. And maybe one of these will tickle your fancy and you'll find one that you really, really enjoy and that you like watching. Um, I really hope that uh, people start having fun. So diamond art projects can be the perfect project to work on during a weekend getaway to a mountain cabin or an at-home craft. You can slowly complete a little bit more each day during your free time. Many people like to select a more challenging diamond art kit once they've experienced, they've experimented with an easier set as, an, as a way to take a mental break during lunchtime while others keep projects at home or at a friend's house if you're collaborating on a particularly hard challenge. Here are some of the other benefits associated with creating your own diamond paintings. So there's lots of ways to do your artwork, right? You go, you can do it at home by yourself. You can go out to a friend's house. You can take it to work and do it on your lunch break. Um, I normally don't take, I wouldn't take diamond paintings, but I would take knitting with me to work. I would knit um, part of my, my lunch break, it relaxed me and it helped me concentrate a little bit more. And it was a nice mental break to get away from uh, all of the challenging things that were going on in my life. Um, challenging meaning trying to work. Uh, my sister, my little sister was in the hospital. She was very sick. Um, I couldn't do anything to help her. Uh, my mom is her caretaker, um, and so she's getting better as the days go by. She's no longer in threat of uh, being deathly sick at this point, so we can be happy that um, she's getting better, right? So, you know, there's always challenges in your life. Think about what those challenges are. Think about what comes about in your mind when you're thinking of what you've got to do for the day. Is there challenges? Is there something that you've got to do that um, makes you feel more comfortable when you do it? Um, is there other things that may help you get through whatever part you're trying to get through? I mean, just think about ways to be able to, and sometimes just finding a relaxing project will be the key to that. So displays your interests. Everyone has their own unique hobbies and interests, and we like to show off the things that we love or the item that we created. So why not select your favorite animal diamond painting pattern and hang it in your home or office to let everyone know what an animal lover you truly are. Sorry, I need something to drink. When taking a space that we frequent and trying to make it our own, we often decorate it with photos of family and friends, artwork that inspires us, and pictures of things that we love, like animals, 
favorite movies and TV shows, band posters, etc. Our large selection of animal diamond paintings would make an excellent addition to any common space in your home or add some pizzazz to your office. Um, match other home decor. So what do you have in your home right now, right? And will the painting you get match your decor? Well, let's see what they got to say about match and decor. So it says, chances are, if you're a huge animal lover, you probably always already have some adorable decorations. And I do. I have dogs, and I have turtles, and I have penguins. So we have animal animals displayed, plus butterflies, and I have a bunny. And my, my Chuck Pinson has horses in it. So there's always some kind of animal involved in our lives. Um, we have dogs. They're our favorite. So, you know, you probably have the Medora featuring your favorite critters. So what are your favorite critters? My favorite critters, I'm going to take and, and send out and have, have a picture made out of them. I just have to find the one that I want. Step up your animal decoration game with a bedazzled addition to our beautiful an an animal diamond paintings featuring scenes of animals in the world or mythical creatures gallivanting through the galaxies. It's all about what fits your personal style. You shop for kits that have a similar color scheme to your home decor and pick out the perfect place to hang your next great creation. So... Do you know where you're going to hang your next great creation? Do you know where you're going to put that? Um, I know where I'm putting all of my great creations right now, and I'm working towards having enough to be able to wallpaper one wall in my office. Um, and that way I can look at my diamond paintings and see what I've done and see what a magnificent artwork I have created. Um, I, have, I have Alice, and then I have um, a... Chuck Pinson, that is the lighthouse. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I also have Alice, and I have the Minions, and I have some other ones. But those are the Diamond Art Clubs that have been finished that are going on the wall. There's also two others in there that have been finished, and that's um, the Snow Queen and one of Randall Spangler's, the one with the hot chocolate. Um... Those are, the two are going to my grandkids this summer, or when I see them. Um, and so, they're going to be excited. I'm super excited. I can't wait to take it to them, or see them here, get them. Oops, sorry, I was grabbing something and hit the cord. Um, I'm trying to get this trash out now that I don't see it. Um, where'd it go? It's right there. Okay, so let's go back. Switch up your diamond art projects. If you're already a men, an avid diamond art painter, you've probably look you're pro you're probably looking to take it on a new challenge and diamond paintings with depictions of animals can be more detail oriented project. Um, when it comes to detail-oriented project, and if I'm in the mood for a very um, confetti project, I will usually do a Chuck Pinson um, because most of his landscapes are very intricate, right? And, and I'm okay with that because I like the intricacies. I like the detail of the beautiful work, right? So... Because the features on some of these diamond art paintings are so intricate, you may need to put your skills to the test on this new project and spend some extra time getting each piece in the mosaic accent acts exactly right. We can think of a we can't think of any better way to become a better, more creative artist than letting your imagine run wild on your next big project. Get it as a gift. So we're almost done here. I'm going to go ahead and lay these last four diamonds, and this will be done, and then we can just concentrate on... Okay, here it goes. Here's the last diamond. It's done. We finished it. 
Hometown Pride is done. This is the last video except for our um, finished and I'll do a um, review, a post review on this. It is Diamond Dots. Um, so I will be doing a post review. Let's get done with our article now. Um, so give it as a gift. We're always in need of a beautiful and unique gift items for our friends and family. Giving someone a homemade present always adds an extra special element to the gesture, which is why we love giving diamond art kits of gifts. You can choose to complete the project yourself and present your friend with an excellent new decoration, or if you have a friend who is particularly crafty, you can give him or her the entire kit and let them discover the thrill of completing their first diamond art project. Not only do these items make the perfect birthday or graduation gift, but it's a great present to give a friend or family member who might be homesick or recovering from a broken bone because it provides them with fun, safe activity to do at home. So it's a great home hobby. When finding a hobby that you really love, there may be many benefits, including on, including an increased level of patience, relief from stress, overcome feelings of boredom, boosting self-confidence, and distracting you from bad habits. If you have a particularly stressful job that leaves you feeling particularly exhausted and or mentally drained at the end of the day, it's a great idea to come home to a hobby because it will help take your mind off the day's work lowering your level of stress and ridding you of those those overwhelming feelings crafting is an excellent way to learn a new skill or help you cope with boredom when you finally finish your first project you'll be amazed at how adorable your painting turned out giving you the confidence to take on your next challenge so brain boost right um, and then we're going once we get through the brain boost then we'll go through um, all of the paintings that they recommend okay so brain boost sometimes we may feel unproductive particularly during bouts of boredom and we try to seek out new and exciting projects that can give us a sense of accomplishment and purpose when you work on a craft like a diamond art painting you can spend several days slowly creating more to this mosaic art piece which will keep you alert and motivated it is a proven fact that learning a new skill will make your brain sharper and help you have an easier time picking up another skill in the future when your creation is finally complete you'll definitely experience feelings of success that will have you itching to start your next project so now we're going to go with the best diamond paint diamond art kits for animal lovers, so unicorns, magical mama. Humans have long been fascinated by the mystical charm of a unicorn, a fictional creature with an ethereal appearance, and motherhood is often the subject of some of the best artwork in the world, which is why magical mama diamond art painting is an excellent choice for anyone who enjoys mythical animals. This painting is perfect to hang in a child's room, with the adorable pastel shades and a display of affection between the mother unicorn and her baby. So let's see if we can find the video. Okay, so here's the picture. And we've seen this before. This was in another um, one of our videos, but it's mama unicorn and her baby. Okay, and so that seems like a pretty simple one, right? So next we go back. And last unicorn okay so this unique depiction of a unicorn uses a lot of brilliant orange and yellow colors to give off a warrior vibe showing the unicorn strength and resilience through art with long flowing golden hair the unicorn design is excellent for diamond art painting because the faceted beads will catch the light and sparkle much like the unicorns own visible aura so I'm thinking that with this one, this is going to be heavy with um, probably uh, ABs. It's going to have a nice amount of ABs probably on the horn. And I'm thinking all these glowing areas on the side of the horse as well as part of the hair. I would think that that would be ABs. Okay. This one comes, it says, 
what does it say? I've just seen it it come it's square in 25 colors. It doesn't have any ABs in it. I would change it and add ABs to that one. So then next one is cats. If you like cats, there's a bunch of cat ones. Home sweet home cats. Here home is where the cats are, which is why we have this diamond art painting hanging right in our entryway. So if you like cats, here's a great one for your home sweet home. Um, that's really cute, right? I really like that one. That one's cute. And I'm not a cat person. Um, sunbathing kitty. Our kitties love spending the entire day basking in the sunniest spot in the house, which is why we've added sunbathing kitty to our favorite hangout space. And this is the sunbathing kitty. So here's the picture. It's just like a half of the face and then one ear and a little bit of the neck. Okay, so that's that's uh, sunbathing kitty. Uh, the next one is sassy cat. Sassy cat is a hilarious project with a lot of personality. It features a cute tabby cat with a funky haircut like no other. We know you'll just you'll love using your creativity on this one. Okay, that one's no longer available. Um, High Street Cats, a funky and fun addition to your home decor. High Street Cats is a welcoming and colorful to help brighten up any room. And, oh, this is this is bright and cheery. Look at that. If you like cats, this is a really fun, this one would be fun. Kind of like the first one we saw. That's similar to that one. Um, that's like Home Sweet Home Cats. So, and that one's called High Street Cat. So maybe it's kind of like a series, maybe. Um, sneaky Cat. If you're a cat owner, you know exactly how sneaky these felines can be. So Sneaky Cat will definitely res res resonate with you. A swirl of beautiful colors creates a cat's tail, which, is, which she is using to peek out from behind, keeping a close eye on her human friends. Okay, so this is just Sneaky Cat. Okay. Oreo. A bright colored design, Oreo is a great starter project with many areas of chunky color to help you get the hang of placing your diamond beads. This point painting is an eye-catching and adorable for anyone who loves cats. Okay, so this one's Oreo. And it's just the head. And then we like you, not something that you hear often. Cat, you hear cats often say, we like you, is an adorable animal diamond painting that reminds us that cats do love us, even when they give us that grumpy look right before dinner time or knock all our jewelry off our dressers with the phrase, we like you, you can stay. This project is a perfect welcome and beast to your home or office. Oh, that one no longer exists. Okay, Siamese teas. These adorable Siamese cats look like they're already to get into some mischief with their cunning smiles. Anyone with their own Siamese cat will definitely want to try completing this project, but it's also great as a gift for your cat-loving friend. So here's Siamese tw twi twins. Um, and yeah, this one's just... Uh, it's a Mandy Manzano from what I can see. Let me see. Um, yeah, it's Mandy Manzano. Because it reminds me of the cats from Lady and the Tramp. The Siamese twins and the Siamese cats and the Lady and the Tramp. Um, chilling with my cats. Every self-proclaimed cat lady absolutely needs one of these diamond art paintings in their home. Drawn in a cartoonish manner, the design of this painting features a woman relaxing at home by the fireplace, surrounded by her three cats. We can't think of a better way to spend an evening. So that one's no longer available. So now we're going to go on to dogs. So if dogs are your favorite, here's another, another one. Spot. Pay homage to your favorite canine with this adorable spot diamond painting featuring a technicolored spotted puppy. So it looks like a Dalmatian. Look at that. Isn't that cool looking? Looks really like a Dalmatian. I think it's a Dalmatian. Or it could be a lab puppy. 
because that's going to what my lab looked like when she was a baby. Um, Chow Chow. This species of dog is possibly one of the cutest in their fluffiest coat and expensive eyes. If you love your Chow Chow as much as we think you do, you'll definitely want to display this beautiful diamond art painting. And, oh, I have to get the Chow Chow. My husband had a Chow um, just before we got married. Um, he passed away, or she passed away. And um, so I probably will get that for him. He likes chows. Okay, so lion and, lions and tigers. There were lots of cats, but very few dogs, right? Did you notice that? Yeah, I did too. Uh, lions and tigers. Soul keeper. Few animals are as majestic as big cats like lions and tigers, which is why so many people are fascinated by them. Try your hand at this mystical, wise-looking lion living on the clouds. Ooh, look at that one. Isn't that pretty? I really like that one. And I'm not much of a I'm not much of a lion uh fan, but this one is awesome. I really love it. Um it almost makes me think of Mufasa. It's not Mufasa, but Soul Keeper by Jojo's Art. Okay. Um White Tiger, one of the most realistic animal diamond painting designs that we offer the white tiger will jazz up any decor in any room. So here's our white tiger and it's the face of a white tiger. Uh, tigers are always majestic and beautiful to me. So um, that's, that's majestic and beautiful as well. Look at those blue eyes. That one's by Amy Stewart. Firstborn. For a diamond painting with a bit of more mystery, check out the firstborn lion design with dark smoky colors. So let's see what Firstborn is. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at the colors. Purples and blues. Isn't that stunning? I might have to get something like that. I don't know where I'd put it. Probably on my wall in my office. Okay, birds. L you need is love. Echoing the sentiments of a beloved band, the Beatles, these cutesy owls sitting together on a branch remind us of life's most important gifts. Okay, so it says owl you need is, and then it's got a heart, and then it has the two owls sitting on the branch. And that one's by Lisa Francis Judd. Okay, and then we have Flying Eagle. Show your patriotism or simply enjoy the beauty of a creature as majestic as this eagle as it glides through the air over snow-capped mountaintops in this flying eagle pointing painting. It doesn't exist anymore. Time. The diamond painting is more serious. Time. This diamond painting is more serious. Take a favorite ant flying animal, the owl. The subject of the painting is intricate, making it more challenging project, but worth the effort when you add the final diamond to create a true work of art. And time is by Sunuvia Mister. And this is really pretty. I've seen this one um, in a preview. I try not to watch unboxings because I like to look at, I don't like to, I'm starting to the point where I don't really like watching other people open their, um, they're paintings, and it's own, that's my own thing. It's not has nothing to do with anybody else. It's just my own thing. So the next section is wolves. So wolf dream catcher. The wilderness of the wolf has long fascinated humans because of their refusal to be tamed. This warrior wolf hints at the mystical side to these beautiful creatures and, and also taps into the world of dreams. Okay, so this is the dream catcher. Okay, wolf dream catcher is by Sonavia Mister. Okay, um, dream catcher wolf. So the last one was wolf dream catcher. This one's dream catcher wolf. Though the names may sound the same, these two paintings are vastly different. In dream catcher wolf. We see the close connection between the wolf and the faces of the moon, a mystical element that reminds us of how everything in this world is connected in the same way. So this one is Dreamcatcher Wolf. 
So, see the difference? That one's stunning, too. I like that one. Doesn't that look stunning? It's got all the moon phases. Mm. So, that was that. And this one, remember, this is your other one. So, see the difference? They're totally different, even though they're similar. This just has that small dream catcher with all the... And it's got um, feathers and everything. So, those are two separate... Two separate paintings, but they're, they're similar in name only. So, Wanderer. The Lone Wolf is an intriguing image because it begs the question, where are you going? This Wanderer Wolf seems to have an ethereal quality, making us wonder about the line between the world of nature and spirits. So, Wanderer. Here's Wanderer, and it's the wolf on the cliff. But look at all the glowing. That's probably got... Does that have ABs in it? Let's see. Yes, it's got one AB and it's round, 25 colors. And it's by JoJo's Art. Mystical Creatures. Yin Yang Dragons. Nothing captures our imagination like mystical creatures. Which is why we love this beautiful painting of two dragons intermingled. Any fan of the Game of Thrones knows the power these fictional characters can hold, which is why we love the fantastical elements of this painting. So this one's Yin Yang Dragons, and it's just two dragons crisscrossing and looking at each other. It's really pretty, though, isn't it? Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Okay, so that's Yin Yang Dragons. The next one is... Adelo. Adelo is a hauntingly beautiful depiction of a creature that appears to be part deer, part human. The glowing green horn suggests a mystical element that gives the viewer a true sense of wonder. And that one doesn't exist anymore. So, animals in nature, black and white, capture the magic of spotting a wild animal in its nat natural habitat. When you work on creating this black and white design with a gorgeous horse, Gazing out into the forest. And that one doesn't exist anymore. Beth Buds. So this this whimsical diamond art painting shows how friendship can bridge the gap between different creatures as a friendly bear makes friends with a little bird in the woods. That one's no longer there. So get creative with a new project. With some of the best diamond art painting kits on the market, Diamond Art Club has all the projects you'll need to master this art form. Select from one of our many animal diamond paintings to get started on learning a new skill and help reduce feelings of stress or anxiety, or simply pick up a new hobby that you can work on alone with or with friends. So, thank you guys all for joining me today. Um, if you liked what you saw today, it would be great to have you um, give us a like. Um, thumbs up down there. If you don't like us, give us a thumbs down. But in, in the video, please, please, please um, leave us an email or a comment letting, or, or a comment letting me know why um, you dislike the video. Um, I'm not against getting it, but if you are comment, if you are going to leave a negative connotation, I would like to understand why you gave that to me so I can make any changes or adjust as necessary. Also, if you want to see what we're doing here on a regular basis at the Sunset Girl Creates, it would be great to have you as part of our family. Um, we, I find it to be an exciting time of life. We're getting really close um, to having full open around the world and we kind of go back to our norm, right? Um, so I'm hoping that that speeds up the IRS when it comes to tax returns. I hope the um, disability, com disability Claims Department speeds up a little bit and does whatever we need them to do. So um, with that said, it would be great to have you subscribe and be part of our family. Um, as well as if you want to know when I upload a video... Um, that's where that little bell icon comes in. It will give you a notification every time I upload a video. Now, you can set that a couple different ways. You can either say all videos or you can say some videos. So, however you want to set your reminder. Um, but with that said, 
Um, we are now done with Hometown Pride. Um, I'm going to get it prepared to unbox, as well as unbox a couple others that need to be unboxed. And then once I'm done doing that, I will be boxing up our next check pins in. So with that said, I hope you guys all have a great day and we'll be showing the unboxing tomorrow. And then we'll start, I will have, will have already started the diamond painting by the time um, you see it first time on the video. So with that said, I hope you guys all have a fun and wonderful time. And um, if there's anything I can help you with, just leave questions or comments in the comments section below. And I'll be happy to answer as soon as I can and to the best of my ability. With that said, you guys all have a fantastic, wonderful week, rest of your day. And I bid you bye-bye.